Hi, my name is Julia Besh. I'm 13 years old. My name is Maximus, and I'm eight years old. Kids across New Jersey are living through moments of history. My name is Megan Pollock. I am 11 years old. A once in a generation pandemic and a nationwide civil rights outcry. It can be a lot to handle for elementary and middle school students. So to help them understand and reflect on their place in history, Partnership for a Drug-Free New Jersey asked kids to write about the silver lining they've experienced in the last few months. We asked them what they've learned. Stay home, stay safe, spend time with your family. I found a bond with my brother. I found a way to put in all of my anger and my frustration into working out. New Jersey's children have watched as days of peaceful protests over the death of George Floyd have turned into nights of violent clashes with police and looted storefronts. The Silver Lining Project has made them comfortable sharing their feelings about topics well beyond their years. So we asked them to weigh in on the protests. Some people are finding ways to take advantage of Floyd's death and to go into stores and steal things, and that I don't think is right. But the people who are standing out there on streets and they're chanting and they have posters and they're lined up and they're standing up for what they think is right, I do believe that that is the right thing to do. Like George Floyd didn't deserve to die. When seven-year-old Adam Carbone heard people were being treated differently because of the way they looked, he said this. I feel really pretty um sad about that because people are um, all different. They look all different, but they're the same inside. His advice to us adults? This like sickness is spreading and all this bad, and all this bad stuff is happening. So we have to work together, try not to fight that much, try not to be mean to other people. Second grader Maximus Nathaniel Langomas turned eight years old during quarantine. His wish? I hope the outcome is that we can find a cure to coronavirus and that we can all live a peaceful life again with no harm. We just have to be friends with everybody and the, and the world will be a great place. Black Lives Matter. Sometimes kids have more answers than we may realize. For NJTV News, I'm Leah Mishkin.